Hello guys, uh, in this video I want to show how you can make a Go application uh, which will run continuously uh, and also you can like basically add some uh, plugins so uh, make modular system and also execute application uh, where you can select some modules or disable some modules and uh, at the end this application will run continuously uh, and um, to stop it, we can listen to the uh, sick term uh, interrupt signal. Uh, let, let me first show how, how it works. So basically, I have this application running. Uh, I am using this um, uh, app uh, this application where I have uh, four modules. Uh, two of them is a uh, web based. One is API, uh, a Gin Go Gin based API and another one is a default uh, HTTP website uh, and, I, and, this, um, and this is how this uh, website looks like so basically uh, when I start this module uh, it listens on a, on a port and executes very simple uh, like two very simple uh, sub pages on root and slash art skills and another one is a gene uh, where we can we have this uh, slash API slash RS, uh, RSS parser and uh, some ID. So this is this will be basically uh, uh, API or REST API for now. I have two other modules. Uh, one is RSS parser uh, where I basically set uh, some. Uh, this one is GitHub parser. Sorry. So this is this one works with the GitHub API. So uh, by provided access token, uh, I try to uh, fetch uh, some information from GitHub. In this case, it is, let me see, I get users. So basically, I use search for the users uh, with more than 100 followers and the language Go. And another model, uh, which is also part of this application, uh, which is static uh, RSS parser. So I have a list of my RSS feeds. Uh, four RSS feeds and in a loop I try to get this uh, details of this RSS and the thing is since I have these modules uh, I have also very simple uh, model or plugin management system uh, very custom one uh, where I have one instance of the application I can set up this application and uh, and basically I can attach uh, uh, sub modules and models should follow this interface for now. Uh, I will probably extend this one, but for now it's a name, so they should return a name and start, uh, which will try to execute this model. And if in, in, in the case of error, it will return error. Um, so basically when you attach and at the end, when you start, it will go through these models and try to uh, run a coroutine and, and execute this application. And why it's corrosion? Because some of the models they can uh, they can like uh, execute and wait. Uh, so I, I, like I forgot the term, but they basically execute and doesn't exit uh, from the application. Uh, for example, when you do uh, so, when you start listening, it will run endlessly unless you stop it. And in this case, it's very useful that it's in a corrosion, so it, uh, it runs in one corrosion uh, concurrently and you can uh, execute another one, which is in my case API. So basically when I execute this application, in one side there will be uh, a website, very simple HTTP website, and on the other side there will be API. Uh, and this is very handy. Uh, and basically what I do on the main website, uh, main, main application, if there is a provided flag, I will show in a second how these flags work. Uh, it will try to attach these uh, modules. So I have one for RSS. So for each of my module, I have a one plug uh, flag. And if this flag is provided, I attach this application, this module. And at the end, I start this application. Uh, probably there is also a better way when you do this through environment. For now, I use environment only for my database connection, as you can see here. Uh, maybe uh, in the future, because in this case, it's not that dynamic. I mean, if you want to uh, like uh, manage a life cycle of the module, uh, you have less control by doing this. Uh, maybe a module needs to decide by some environment variables when it needs to be enabled or disabled. 
but this is for uh, this like easily uh, extendable so maybe i will do it later and this is like very interesting part uh, uh, this is what happens this like endless run basically what i do um, i have one channel uh, i specify type uh, and size uh, and, and in this case um, i also say that when i have uh, interrupt signal signal term I'll let this channel know basically so notify uh, and here I listen for this channel if there is some input uh, something sent to the channel I start stop execution so this way I will have uh, my application uh, running endlessly so let me show it so basically when I do uh, go run I will use go run so in this case I provide all this uh, all these uh, models let, let me cut some of them just to see so let's say i want to run a website site and api uh, so application will try to attach them and at the end start them so we can see i also have some uh, some logging information for models so this is model one starting model api uh, this is another model uh, website uh, and I can see that there is some uh, also logs from this models itself. So in, in this case, a gene application. So now I have both of them uh, executing. So if I go to this uh, part, I can see, uh, like at least I get some response. Uh, I can do also articles. So basically my API for now returns 404. Uh, maybe I can add uh, some more uh, models. So let's say Let's also include RSS parser and uh, GitHub parser. So, and, and by, do, <coughs> by doing this, uh, these models say don't have a web interface, but we can see <coughs> a result of this API uh, the model working. So this is output from my RSS parser. Uh, so it parses this website and uh, can get some, uh, some links, uh, title and etc. And somewhere here, I can also see you should see uh, also github let me see uh output of the github let me see where is this github api yeah maybe i can just like try to execute it um, only with github parser uh, let's run on the website and github parser yeah and this is output from my github parser <clears throat> uh, and this is a result of my uh, github api based query so where i get uh, users with some uh, uh, some query params and by the, by doing this we can also like check that uh, we should have also articles running yeah uh, website running so this is like how uh, we can do uh, you can have like a simple uh, model system and continuously running application uh, and by the way if i want to stop this i can use ctrl c it will stop and send me some nice message so this is basically how you stop and also I stop uh, like I'd say uh, friendly saying that there is no error. I have also case when, for example, it tries to say, uh, so once I, I have this exit case, it will also try to close database. And in this case, I, I never had the chance to try this one. I will try this one and see, but I expect that if I, it tries to stop and there is a, if there is an error, uh, it will uh, return a non-zero uh, non uh, exit code. Uh, but but yeah, uh, for now it's very simple. Uh, uh, I expect to extend this part, uh, so I have more uh, uh, management, more control over the modules. Uh, but it can be used uh, for for very simple module or plugin management, and also keep everything under one application. Mm -hmm.